Hello, welcome back to the Super Cleaver today. <coughs> I'm going to be showing you another difficult airport. <coughs> now, that is the end of the runway up there. <coughs> so, yeah, this is probably <coughs> the hardest airport that I ever found so far. <coughs> because the because the altitude, the elevation of this <coughs> airport is 10,003 feet. <coughs> so this plane actually can't go higher than 10,000 feet. So, when I take off right now, <coughs> you'll see that my plane can't go that high. So what I have to do is I actually have to turn... Keep the landing gear down in case I need to land suddenly, and then, <coughs> and now, I can put the landing gear down, <coughs> and now I can fly, and now I gotta fly down in the takeoff. <coughs> and now I'm gonna show you if I can find it. So, the darker it is, the higher the mountains are, so you can see that all this is, all these mount mountains are really, really high, like 10,000 feet, and maybe even, maybe even as high as 20,000 feet, and then down here, the mountains get, just get lower and lower. <coughs> So you actually have to follow the canyon down all the way through to the lower mountain. So I'm going to fly all the way down here. <coughs> so oh, that's where you would have to fly. You would have to turn here and fly down <coughs> in this canyon, but I'm going to see, and you can see the clouds are actually down in the ravine, canyon thing, so I'm actually going to try and land this plane, which I hardly doubt I'll be able to. I'm going to put my landing gear down now, for that reason. Uh, you know what, let's just... So, I don't think we're going to be able to land at this airport, and you guys can't see. Because the airport is all the way up there. And let me pull up the in-flight map. <coughs> yeah, the runway is actually... over this mountain here. So I can't pull up any higher than that, so what we're going to do is, <coughs> I see that we're about to crash into the mountainside. Before we do, <coughs> I'm going to go into a plane which you can actually take off and fly really high up. And that is the F-18. So I'm going to pick... <coughs> you know what, I'll actually try that one next. So I'm going to hop into this plane now. <coughs> and take off from the same airport. And see if I can land So you get you guys may be thinking that a regular Boeing or 
able as it can actually fly at 45,000 feet, which is true, but it needs more power to take off from 10,000 feet. It's just... <coughs> Alright, so this is the F-18 that I'm going to be flying now. There we go. Oh, so now as you can see, when I pull up, These planes are the ones that actually can fly vertical. <coughs> so I'm already at 12,000 feet. So... <coughs> I'm going to fly this way a little. And now I'm going to fly <coughs> back around and the airport is actually at a lower altitude than I'm at now. <coughs> so... The airport was at 10,000 feet, which means... Well, oh, it's probably behind us now. Um... <coughs> so, the airport... It should be like right here. Huh. Alright, but if you want to try landing at the airport, the airport will be in the description. Alright, as you're going... Wait, let's use this. Let's see if we can see the airport from up here. I'm not seeing the airport unless... Alright, so I think... Oh, no! Oh! Oh! Alright, well, I wasn't going to say that was close, but... Yeah! <coughs> like I said, I am going to try this other plane, but... As you can see, this airport is really hard to... land at or take off from. So I'm gonna try I'm gonna go to <coughs> now it says that this is a twin engine jet so it's like that it's like the Comcord that could go faster than the speed of sound. <coughs> it was mainly to fly over oceans in less than three hours. 
<coughs> when today it would take you about six hours, about, to cross an ocean. They are trying to make a better supersonic jet that... <coughs> and, I, and this is actually the first time that I'm actually flying this plane in Flight Simulator today, so I'm just... Okay. What are the, those over there? Oh, did I just... Alright, so that's the right, the flaps. I can't even get the nose off the ground yet. Um Yeah, so as you can see, I went over the runway, but I'm going to be trying that plane at a different airport next episode. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video of me trying to land at another difficult airport today. And I'll be back for more. Bye!